Feel blessed right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know, there's a lot of niggas out here, man. Just be, uh, you know, a lot of niggas running their motherfucking cow, mouth and shit. Talking that shit, showing out and shit in front of these hoes, man. Don't you get mad when niggas show out in front of these hoes? That's like the main thing niggas like to do. You know what I'm saying? You can get your ass murked, man. You can get killed out here. Man. Get murdered in these motherfucking streets, man. This shit real out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Let's get it on, my nigga. Don't let that nigga get you killed. I put some hollows in your shirt, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. You can get murked. You know I keep that thing on me and I let them bullets burst, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. You can get murked. You hold a false flag and fuck, boy, gon' end up in a hearse, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. With your brains blown out, face down in some dirt, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. You can get murked, nigga. That when the Arlington pom poms come down to the Superdome, you know why well, they they put super in front of the dome? It's because it's the greatest arena on the planet Earth right now. Not that cattle fucking rodeo rock concert bullshit that goes on just a few miles away from me. They call it the Superdome because we're gonna have home field advantage. A better team than Arlington to come in to get our our mojo back. It's the greatest team in America. The greatest sports franchise around the world. My uncle out there in California always asks me, why do you always hang on our nuts? Why do you talk about it? Because, hey, ESPN, every social media outlet, all they do is talk about the pom poms. All they do is talk about the cowboys. You're force feeding us down the mouth of your shit franchise. And I can ask you the same question there, Unk. Why are you on the fucking Oakland Raiders? They haven't been relevant in 15 years. You get off their nuts and I'll get off y'all's nuts. I hate the Cowboys franchise for many reasons. But the number one reason are their fans. It's not necessarily the, the, the team or the players that they have. It's the owners and it's the way that the media has always patted you on the back and everything's great. It doesn't matter if y'all are 6 and 10. They're still going to talk about y'all being y'all are irrelevant. Y'all are still as irrelevant. Y'all are 0 and 3 this year. We're 0 and 3. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, you have two wins in the books? Do you know why you're 0 and 3? Because y'all are losers. Because it doesn't matter if y'all win, you're losing. You're not winning. Every single game something happens. Y'all have ultimately failed to supply your fans with a winning team. Did that mouth fuck rapist Jerry Jones that builds a Victoria's Secret inside that fucking cow pasture of a fucking dome, that big ass bowling alley, not that, why? Would he do nothing but draft first-round draft picks for offensive linemen? Whoa, whoa, you got to have an offensive line, right? Awesome. I thought it was a great fucking move every year. I'm like, why are they criticizing this guy? So y'all have the best offensive line in the NFL. There's no doubt. And then it's like, wow, you have a fucking future, potentially a future Hall of Fame running back from Oklahoma. And what do y'all do? Y'all let him go to your division rivals. J-Wad. J-Wad. He's overrated? He's... He, he's what? He's overrated? Oh, oh, is he now? Is he now? Well, is that why they perform a fucking rape kit? A post-game rape kit fucking test on every fan leaving y'all's fucking nasty fucking stadium? Is that why they put... A fucking great kit on everyone that makes YouTube videos after that game because y'all could not run the football. And you know, I heard a sound bite from Joseph Randall, aka I like to go in the Dillards. I don't know if y'all know what Dillards is, but they're in shopping malls. 
It's kind of expensive. It's not like Neiman and Marcus, kind of like their team. We're the Houdat Nation. We're the greatest franchise in the NFL. The New Orleans Saints, see, we shop at Neiman Marcus. They shop at Dillard's. But he goes in there and he steals cologne and all this. You know what this fucker said? He said, well, you know, do want too much. I could do them thick a hat because I'm thick and hat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They can have me. They had a little men block. Then they're like, well, uh, 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 Joseph, uh, Joe. They call him Joe. Joe, what, what'd you say? Oh, man, they had a little men block. I asked him three times. He couldn't talk. Speaking of your bonds. Hey, Joe, what, what, what'd you say? He said, well, they had 11 minutes. 11 minutes in the box. 11 minutes in the box? No, 11 men. Oh, shit. Well, I wonder who had to deal with that last year. Oh, it's that running back from Philadelphia, DeMarco Murray. Oh shit, he had to deal with 11 men in the box and he never fucking played and y'all let him go. So it's kind of like this. You draft fucking three, you know, future Hall of Fame fucking wide receivers like a Jerry Rice, like a Tim Brown, like a Marquise Colston that you're about to see, a Steve Largent, a Randy Moss, and then... You have some fucking douchebag at quarterback trying to throw him the pass. It ain't going to work. Y'all built your ways. Y'all are just pathetic. Y'all don't even know what to do with your own team. It's it's all you got to do is watch one of your games, and there's really nothing to say. Y'all have a culture of losing over 20 fucking years. Your fan base is a joke. If you look it up in the fucking dictionary what subpar means with talent, Y'all are fucking subpar. And God bless from the SEC, from the University of Tennessee, probably the greatest tight end to ever play the game, Jason Witten. God bless him for not jumping off the Titanic years ago. Because we would have taken him to New Orleans this past year. And I hope that Jason Witten can get a Super Bowl ring. He won't get it in Arlington. But I hope he leaves, because it is pathetic y'all have mismanaged your talent like y'all have. And I am so sick and tired of hearing about all these injuries. Injuries, 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 injuries. Well, guess what, people? Against Arizona, we had seven motherfucking defensive players out that were supposed to be starting. A new team with 25 fucking players on the roster, brand new. Week two, we had six fucking defensive players out. Week three, last week against that fucking Jigaboo up in Carolina, we had seven again. And you know who's been injured for us? You know who's injured last game? I'm not talking about some fucking wash-up, some Roger, Roger, Dodger, Roger Stallback, Navy, draft dodging, overrated piece of shit with two fucking Super Bowl rings. I'm not talking about Roger Stallback, nor less am I talking about that little fairy that y'all had in the early 80s, Danny White. Now, I know a lot of y'all a little bit too young to understand that. Go, go Google Danny White. You'll know who he is. You probably never knew. He played fucking quarterback for y'all. That's what Tony Romo is, people. Have y'all not seen it? Has not Jesus Christ himself come down and told you that is what y'all are? That's all Tony Romo's going to be. He is beat up. He is beat up me. He's a fucking lot lizard outside of a Love's Travel Stop outside of East Texas right now. Where that fucking shit kicker goes and gets him a cup of coffee and makes YouTube videos. Well, let me tell you something there, j -Wad. I don't want you to get road rage or anything, but maybe the next time you make a video after this game when we beat y'all, you better have your fucking depends on, because I know that Obamacare, you know your boy Obama, I know I know you, it's been going right through you, Eddie. That insurance has been going right through you. You've been shitting left and right. You've been squirting. you got the squirts. Well, don't worry, motherfucker. I'm the master of diapers. I'll sing you some if you need it. And, you know, Obama, you know, gave that circle of trust on. Maybe she can do it and prove her loyalty to you because you're going to be shitting all over the place. You know, Rob Marinelli on the fucking sidelines when Julio Jones just... Mm, got all up in your fucking defensive secondary's guts. Every fucking play. And number 24 for Atlanta? Jesus Christ, were y'all even playing football? It was pathetic. It was embarrassing to watch because y'all had no coaching. Hey, 
If y'all would have had fucking Sean Payton, fuck Rob Ryan. If y'all would have had Sean Payton, y'all might have had two or three rings right now, and y'all fucking know it, and that's what fucking kills you. And then, you know, oh, go fire Garrett. No, get rid of Romo. Why did we sign Romo to a contract? Romo has three touchdowns in one game. Oh, God bless Romo. Murray's awesome. Oh, he didn't want to play with us for $20 million? Oh, fuck him. Well, y'all could have freed up enough room to keep Murray. Oh, yes, y'all could have. Y'all could have restructured some contacts if y'all really wanted to keep Murray, but y'all fucking didn't. And then, you know, Jerry Jones needs to sit down. Oh, Jerry Jones is doing such a fucking great job with our offensive line. Oh, shit. Mo Claiborne. Mo Claiborne is the only one in the fucking secondary right now that y'all have. From Louisiana State University. Y'all wanted to get rid of him last year when he was out for injuries. And I said last year, jump off the Titanic and come to the fucking Saints. Fuck it, they don't want you. But they'll want you week to week. Just the flavor of the fucking night. The flavor of the day. That's what the Dallas Cowboy fans are. None of you, 95, 96% of you don't even know what the fuck y'all are even talking about. And then, by God, he gives y'all fucking Rolando McClain, future Hall of Famer. He will be in the College Hall of Fame. Then they give you Randy Gregory. I got a little news for you, Cowboy fans. Randy Gregory ain't going to be around. He's going to fail a fucking drug test, and he'll fail another one, and then he'll fail another one. Just like my boy up there in Oregon, Smitty. The reason why he can't fucking drive for Uber. Because a drug test. Hey, Smitty, does Bill ever fucking yell at you like in taxi? Remember that skit with old Reverend Jim? Smitty, what the fuck are you doing? Get off your phone. Come over here, boy. You're like, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Smitty had to leave ship out of Missouri. He had to go up to Oregon and drive cabs for fucking Bill. Ain't that fucking pathetic? But I did hear when you went to Denver to get you some weed. I did hear you had some shoes on. So fucking great for that, man. And then you got fucking Bill that looks like he's got a wig. But, you know, God bless Bill for giving this loser a fucking job. Seriously, I do mean that. You know, good for you, man. You win the Gravy Man of the Year award for that. But what I really like to talk about is this fucking guy, Matthew. Oh, Cowboy Crusader. Who looks like... You know, the artist formerly known as Bruce Jenner. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, and fucking Sonny and Cher had a daughter, okay? Her name was fucking Chastity. And then you got Caitlyn over here, Caitlyn Jenner. And somehow they put the fucking DNA together and they shook it up. And you got fucking Chastity Bono now. God damn, dude, you got patches of hair that look like fucking Bill and Smitty's fucking crotch hair pasted on your fucking face. You were sitting in a video and the fucking chair was lean because you're so fat. You got titties. The Dallas thing that you were in, the D and the fucking S were under your big fucking tits. Oh my God. You need to go get your fucking cock cut off and become a female. You'd be very popular in certain circles, motherfucker. We got Drew back. We have a CJ Spiller. We're going to start feeding the ball to. And I know that we got rid of Jimmy Graham, and I know that was a bad thing. I didn't really agree with it what happened. We got, uh, what's his name, Patrick Amakakuga from Missouri. Trade on the, from the New England Patriots. That's fine. We got rid of Akeem Nix, who hadn't done shit anyway. But we're going to run the fucking football. Y'all can't. We're going to keep it on every fucking minute of every, all 60 minutes. See, y'all can't close out games. We finish. It's going to come down to who has the more heart. And who has the more heart in this game is the New Orleans Saints. The fucking Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have more heart, more skill, and more stroke than your whole fucking team put together. If one of them fucking cheerleaders would have fucked up like your defense did, she'd have cut every fucking one of them and moved everybody else up on the practice squad. Right now, even though y'all are 0-3, are still outperforming that bullshit y'all put in the fucking field in that fucking cow pasture of a stadium. So for right now, it's been the big bad booty shaker. I am the trifecta. I am the fucking crowd clown. I'm not worried about this game. I'm really not. We're going to expose you bitches again.